What's up guys, it's Jenny and we're still on lockdown. So I thought today, maybe I can bake some cupcakes and take you guys along for the ride. So let's get our ingredients and start baking. With our batter, nice and mixed and chocolatey. I don't know if you guys have this. If you don't have it, get it. It's very useful. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here, right there. Then when we want to put them into the cups, we just place here, and it goes through there. Handy, right? So, I have mentioned quite a few times that I am a type 1 diabetic, but there's just something so therapeutic in baking, so even though I can't eat whatever I'm making, I really enjoy the process of making it. Gives you some time alone in the kitchen to think about things. And when you're bored because it's locked down, it really does give you something to do. And with a husband that has a very, very huge chocolate fondness, I also score some brownie points, which is something I can make as well. I really do enjoy making pecan brownies because with those you can kind of play around, add less sugar. And then sometimes I can even eat them as well. Okay, so I made a little, <laughs> two little better. But that's okay. So these are going into the oven. Where's my box? Uh, these are going to be for... Plus minus 15 minutes. And while they break, I shall go do some of my dishes. So, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Baked and ready. Now let's just wait for these bad boys to cool down. Then I shall show you guys what I do. I do not make icing. I melt baking chocolates and then I dunk them into the chocolate, but I see with these paper bags it's going to be a bit difficult, so I think I'll just pour it over with a spoon, like my mother-in-law suggested, she bakes a lot, so she's very <laughs> clever when it comes to stuff like this, but unfortunately these guys have to cool down first, so I will see you guys in another few minutes. And I'm back, this time in the pantry, because this is where I put these bad boys down to cool. And they are now nice and cold. So this is the brand that I use. There we go. I melt this, then I dip it in usually, but I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do in a second. Let me just get this melted and I'll be with you in literally a few seconds. And back again. So we have our baking chocolates. And I'll just lower this a bit so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Put some on. <clears throat> then I just spread it. Now I do it like this on purpose so that it's not too runny. If it's too runny, it takes forever to dry. 
Like if you want to go the runny route, you can. I'm just, I don't know, I don't like it when it takes forever for someone to be able to eat it. If that makes any sense. Maybe I should just get a teaspoon. Maybe that'll look better. Better than a teaspoon. It's gonna be like a spread. Nice chocolate spread. Huh? You can actually use Nutella for this if you want to. It's another idea. I want to make coffee chocolate flavored cupcakes sometime in the future when I get that specific mix again. <coughs> I'm not so creative that I, I can just do this from scratch. There is a profile that I follow on my bookstagram where she does all these things from scratch and I'm just like oh my gosh no no cooking I can do from scratch I'm quite good with making food and that just came from watching my grandmother and my mom in the kitchen for years <clears throat> I didn't take what we call hotel in high school um, how do I explain hotel uh, it basically teaches you how to be a good wife. <laughs> you learn recipes and all that shit, but I am a more artsy person, so I had visual arts, drama, and then my one extra subject that wasn't art related was actually tourism. Because when I was younger, I really, really wanted to travel the world. And then a few years ago, my retina in my right eye pulled loose and when they fixed it they informed me that I'm not allowed to fly for six years because it could actually completely undo all the work they did on my eye but if you've seen me wearing glasses in some of my previous videos um, those glasses are made specifically for the double vision that I have due to the operation but thank god the double vision mostly went away on its own so now I cannot wear my glasses because they give me migraines <laughs> same day different shits that's my saying I know it's supposed to be same shit different day but in my case, I think my saying works a little bit better. I don't know if I should make a playlist for like baking with Ginny. Because I spent more time talking than anything. Maybe they should go under just chatting. I'll figure that out later. I'm not going to think too much about it right now. Because I'm filming this directly after I did my SA lockdown update thing. Um, because I'm bored, I'm really bored, and apparently our clothing outlets and everything are only opening when we're on level two of the gradualization, going into society again and all that nonsense. Um, uh, so I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to travel, I have to go visit my gran or anything, until we're most likely on stage one. And I'm sorry, but knowing South Africans, that's gonna be a while. I mean, if we even get to stage one without falling back to stage five again a few times. Again, I'm not trying to sound negative, but <clears throat> people aren't listening. They're not following the rules. They're not, they're not staying at home. They, they just don't give two shits about what the president says, what the regulations are. They just don't care. I haven't been out since I shot my first COVID-19 video where I showed everybody <coughs> the malls and how busy it was. But 
yeah, I'm going through it crazy. I might actually start um, a DIY playlist as well. Because I've got a few things I can make. Um, Mom has aloe vera. So I might make a hair mask and some face masks. And I really need to make my cat's cat paint. But I'm just quickly going to get the sparkles that I'm going to put on these. Because they're technically for my sister-in-law and her boyfriend's five-year anniversary. Birthday! This is going to be fun. I did wash my hands, I promise. I'm going to have to press these in because it's going to be chocolate. Can my phone? There we are. Yeah, I am filming on my phone. Until I get more of you people out there to subscribe to my channel so that I might make just a little bit of money out of this. Um, I cannot afford a camera. I would love to afford a nice camera because I would really like to start doing my um, paranormal investigations. But I think I might actually start that with my doll. But everybody's like, Jen, you need to get rid of that thing. It's haunted. Now, this was my very first doll. My grandfather bought it for me when I was born. And I still have it. Now, I think because of all the years of wear and tear on the poor thing, it does look rather awful. People are like, um, that's one scary doll. I have to hide it in my home because my husband is terrified of the damn doll. Um, I don't get any weird vibes when touching it or interacting with it and I am a sensitive, um, self-proclaimed medium <laughs> because I see shit and hear shit and can communicate <laughs> with shit. I'm a shitty um, but that's just what makes it really interesting for me when people are like oh my gosh that's haunted and you're like oh my gosh it's not some channels i watch and i lose my shit because they're always like i can feel a demon in this room and you're like dude there isn't even a ghost <laughs> like calm down i'm not gonna name names because that's just me but guys, ta -da. <laughs> it smells so good. I really wish I could eat chocolate. But on that note, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please stake that like button. Hit the bell notification with the silver bullet. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.